think for me being a striker, you've got a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. I think I personally thrive off that. Um, I think the position comes with a lot of pressure, which I enjoy. Um, but I also like to be creative in the final third of the pitch and score goals. You know, I think every striker likes to score goals and I'm the same. When you miss them open goals, when you miss them chances, you know you should have scored. Um, and you feel like you've let the team down. Also, I'm a penalty taker as well, so there's a lot of pressure on them. And when you miss a penalty, it's, there's no worse feeling. Um, so that's probably the worst, yeah. You know, as a striker, you have to be strong-minded. If you miss a chance, you have to be able to pick yourself up and go again because there's still 90 minutes of football to be played. Um, but it's a role that I love and I'm glad that I picked to be a striker. I think a lot of strikers are criticised with being selfish, but then I think if you, if you wasn't, if you wasn't selfish, then you might not score some of the goals that you'd have scored. Um, I think also the beauty of a striker, obviously there's a responsibility to score goals, but also nowadays there's a big emphasis on assists and there's no bet, you know, obviously it's nice to score, but it's also nice to put your teammates in and to see them score as well and know that you've played your part. I grew up in Liverpool, so the strikers I look to watch are Robbie Fowler and Michael Owen, two very different types of you know, strikers. Um, Michael Owen obviously had a lot of pace and was could dribble and you know I learned a lot from him but then you had Robbie Fowler who was just clinical and a fox in the box as you'd say and um, so his finishing was second to none so I did I learned a lot watching the game and I think for youngsters out there I think by watching games you do learn a lot from different types of strikers that there are about in the game. I think it's hard to describe the feeling of scoring a goal it's it's just one of them things where there, sometimes it can be a little tapping but the goal me means so much to the team can take you through to the next round, it can win you a medal, it can win you a championship. So it's more what that goal means to the team than how good of a goal it is. Then there's also the other, on the other hand, you can score a worldie, but it can mean nothing. You can be losing 3-0 losing and it's the last minute, so it's hardly celebrated. So it just depends on the type of goal that you score and what it means, but it's a great feeling when you do score the big goals. I want to be successful, I want to win medals. Um, last year with Manchester City, I was fortunate to do the double. I believe we could have done more as well and hopefully this year we can kick on from that. We're in the quarter final of the Champions League and that's where you test yourself against the best players. So hopefully we can, you know, go into that game full of confidence and you know prove ourselves on, on a world stage. But I also believe that this year is important for international. And um, we've got the European Championships coming up with England and you know I'd love to win. I'd love to win a gold medal for, for my national team like anyone else would. And, I think that's a big game this year. Yeah, I think the boots are really important. Um, obviously, they're a big part of your game. And, you know, I'm very fortunate to be wearing the Nike Hyper Venoms at the minute. And, you know, the fit of them is amazing. You know, they fit like a glove. And I think the material, the flying it, really grips your foot where, you know, when I'm kicking that ball now, I can really feel it. And you can really get the right technique on the ball. On a match day, it's important that, you you know, you're fully prepared and it goes down to your, your footwear as well. You know, I've always got studs with me and I've always got moulds with me because you have to be prepared for different surfaces um, but I'll also take a pair that's worn in and I'll take a new pair as well. The best advice I've ever been given to enjoy your football I think when you're enjoying your football that's when you play your best that's when you have the best time on the pitch and um, I think if you're struggling a little bit or you're a bit down in yourself I think that shows in your performance so I think if you can wake up every day and go out onto the pitch express yourself and enjoy it then hopefully you'll succeed in what you're doing.